Hi and welcome. Today in this video I'm going to show you the modeling capabilities of Hevo Data Integration Platform. Before I show you how to model your data using Hevo, let's briefly discuss the need for modeling the data. Business users ask questions like, how much sales have I made this week by product brands? Or, how many people visited a particular product on my website? These are simple questions that can be answered by a simple SQL query on your database. But business users don't stop at asking simple questions. They want to do a lot of advanced things with the data. Say you want to get a unified view of each of your users, and then you want to segment your users into your loyal customers or customers at the risk of leaving your service. You'll have to combine data on the user's product purchases, his returns, feedback, product interactions, support queries, and much more for this. Only then you'll be able to get a 360 degree customer view. Unfortunately, the data you need to answer such questions rests in multiple systems, and these systems have different formats and structure of storing the data. Moreover, they don't talk to each other. To solve this, most modern businesses choose to consolidate data from different silos into a single data store such as a data lake or data warehouse such as Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, or Snowflake. This is a good first step. The next logical step after you have all the data in a single data warehouse is to combine the data from multiple sources to form a unified view. You can create a derived table also called a materialized view by using data modeling in Hevo. This is also essential since the data schema in transactional systems are highly normalized. But in the analytical system, to reduce the number of joins, we need to denormalize the data for easier access and faster query response time on large data sets. Business users can then build any number of reports on this to answer all their questions. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this. Engineers will have to write custom code to combine data into a single customer view in the warehouse and run aggregates on it. This can eventually become a bottleneck. Moreover, keeping this data updated in real time is time consuming. Solution? Meet Hevo. With Hevo's modeling capability, you can create complex joins and aggregates on a visual interface and store the results as materialized views within the data warehouse without having to wait on the engineering team. Let me show you how. Remember our initial example? To create a 360 degree view of the customer, I've configured three data pipelines to bring data on product purchases, returns, and feedback into the Redshift data warehouse. You can refer to a link in the description for guidance on Hevo data pipelines. Once I have all the data in one place, the next step is to combine the data sets to create a unified view. Let me show you how to model data from these pipelines to create a unified customer view. I'll click on Create Model. I'll have to select the warehouse in which all the data resides. Since I've moved my data to Redshift, I'll click on that. Let me name my model. Note how the schema of the destination is automatically loaded to help you model the data. You can also see the source from which the data has been loaded. In this model creation view, I can write a MySQL query here to create a data model. Let me add a query to combine data from three tables in my warehouse, the product purchase, returns, and feedback tables to create a complete customer view. Notice that I've joined the three tables and aggregated this data to create a unified view. You can view the sample result of your query by hitting Run. Once you've frozen the query, click on Next to store the data in the desired table on Redshift. You can choose from an existing table or create a new one. I will choose Customer View. There's an additional option to truncate and load the data onto Redshift here. If this option is checked, the model deletes the data in the destination table first and then loads fresh data. In use cases where you want only the latest data available, this option can be very helpful. If the option is unchecked, the data will be upserted. Let me keep it unchecked. Next, I need to select the columns in the destination table where my data should be loaded. Let me select all of them. I will click Create Model. Once your model is created, you can schedule it to run as per desired frequency. You can choose a time interval or a specific time in the day to run the model. Let me run this one every 15 minutes. And that's it. 
Models also ensure that everyone within the organization refers to a common definition of KPIs and metrics. With a BI tool of your choice, point your business users to this model and help them answer game-changing questions for your business. Now, what if one of your models depends on the data set produced by another model? That is, one model has dependency over the other model. In Hevo, you can create workflows to achieve this. Let me show you how. Let's say you want to provide a score to the customer and segment the user based on it. I've already created a model for this. This query uses the data from the previous model on customer view to calculate the score. The catch here is that you'll be able to calculate the customer score only after the data in the customer view model is loaded. See the dependency? You can easily automate this dependency between your models through Hevo's workflows. Workflows allow you to build a DAG, directed acyclic graph, from within the tool, allowing you to optimize interdependencies between data models so that you don't have to manually wait for the data to arrive. Creating workflows on Hevo is a cakewalk. I'll click on Create Workflow. On this canvas, I can easily create a workflow just by defining the steps of the workflow. Let me give a name to the workflow. Let me add a step. I can choose existing models from the list here and add it to my canvas. I'll click Customer View. Let me add a second step. Now I can define the dependency by simply pointing the arrow from the customer view to customer score. Simple, isn't it? Eva will now compute the customer score only when the model customer view is available. In a similar fashion, you can create workflows with any number of steps. Models and workflows can be helpful for a number of use cases. It's your turn to try them out. Head over to your Hevo account and create a data model. If you have any questions, shoot us an email at try at We're always here to help. Thanks for watching.